who that nation what it do today we're gonna be reacting to another video on world star this video is called lapd fatally shot innocent 14 year old girl while attempting to shoot unarmed suspect in burlington burlington coat factory i'm assuming north hollywood exclamation mark so yeah let's get into the video see what they talking about bro breaking new information about the tragic shooting death of a 14 year old girl killed by a stray lapd bullet inside a dressing room at a local store tonight lapd chief michael moore speaking out about what went wrong eyewitness news reporter christian cordero talked to the chief tonight and has late breaking new information christian that's crazy bro mark the crime tape is still up here in north hollywood uh it has been all imagine you like here you you try and go shopping with your family bro and a mother got a witness her daughter going behind so, a something situation that didn't even have nothing to do with them that's crazy bro all day today we spoke with the lapd chief who described what happened as unimaginable for the family whose daughter was killed by an lapd bullet he's promising tonight a thorough and transparent investigation tonight a family that started its day shopping sorry to pause it but we all know that that investigation is going to end with uh, a paid leave of absence and then he going to transfer somewhere else and still be a police officer that's crazy bro finds itself mourning and stuck in an investigation it neither expected nor deserved the lapd got calls earlier today about a man assaulting a woman and possible shots fired at the north hollywood burlington coat factory and as they're moving through the store and up the escalator they come upon a victim who is down a female who has been uh, assaulted and has uh, injuries and is bleeding. Chief Michael Moore told us one officer fired three shots. One of those shots hit and killed the suspect. Uh, one of the rounds apparently struck a wall behind the suspect and behind that wall was a fitting room and inside there uh, tragically was this 14 year old girl and her mother. The 14 year old girl died in that dressing room. We're not yet sure who she was. The woman who the man had assaulted were told was taken to the hospital with injuries to her head, face and arms. Investigators have recovered. And what's she involved in where she's getting her ass beat at Burlington Coat Factory? You know what I'm saying? Like people have got to realize, bro, like we living in a world where like you got to be on your P's and Q's. And even in that situation, how could you know? How can you even know? You're in a, in, a, in, a, in a changing room where you think that you safe because ain't nothing going on. You just trying to try on some clothes. That's why I like it's important for you to spiritually be uh, blessed up before you walk out the door. Be prayed up because this could be the day that you cross over and it can come. At a, where you didn't even expect it Like you know what I'm saying Sometimes people see the, see the stuff coming But that she didn't see that coming She just got hit and then she had to fade out So like You gotta be you know what I'm saying Just be careful be vigilant And keep yourself blessed up You know what I'm saying Like we living in crazy times y'all Some kind of metal object they believe the suspect used to hit the woman But so far no gun Does this fit the protocol of sorts of an appropriate time to shoot despite there not being necessarily uh, a gun this is way too way too soon uh, i'm not going to speculate or 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 make any type of judgment as That's to the officer's though, actions you know what I'm he expects the investigation will take at least weeks uh, this is also being overseen by the office of inspector general this is the independent uh, office that works directly for the board of police commissioners my boss to ensure that the investigation is fair it's thorough it's transparent surveillance and body cameras plus interviews with officers and witnesses will help officials figure out exactly what happened and how the family of the girl who died her mother who was next to her in her final moments Dang. is left with why this is a tragic outcome uh, and and one that uh, we all are deeply uh, deeply um, moved and, and we just on behalf of the men and women of this department uh, we offer our deepest condolences to this family dang bro the officer is on and that was then she didn't right say it too but that was a good question that she asked and if he didn't have no gun why are they firing shots in a crowded area with civilians 
You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's like one of the things that you're supposed to assess in these type of situations is, is it even safe for you to fire shots? That's the responsibility of being a police officer is you making educated decisions with a lethal weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why are they firing shots in a place that's not evacuated? You know what I'm saying? I can see if y'all get all the customers out, everybody's evacuated. It's now one of them one-on-one -on -one situations. Then y'all fire shots. But for y'all to do that with with civilians in there, that's, that's uncalled for. Um, y'all have more tools and resources and more tactics that y'all practice, that they train for. They have more tactics to de-escalate that situation than to fire shots. Because bullets don't have no name on it. And as you see, when they fire shots, you know, and that, and that, this goes into the whole situation where they shooting an unarmed black man. These guys are pulling out guns and shooting when they don't even have to shoot. I'm going to leave it at that, bro. Now, let her go ahead and say that he's been on, put on paid leave. Paid administrative leave, which we understand is standard given what happened. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC. All right, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that situation. Um, please be safe out here in today's society. We got a lot of crazy people going on. Like, we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. We got a lot of crazy people running around. So it's very important for people to protect themselves and to make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to be safe when you're walking out the door and also be prayed up and, and you know, whatever you got to do because some people – don't pray. Some people don't believe in God. I don't know what you need to do to make sure that you're spiritually prepared to cross over. But you need to also have that in your mind, too, when you walk out the door. Because you never know when it's going to be your last day on earth, your last moments on earth. So I'll leave y'all with that message. And make sure y'all like and subscribe. Because if you like the video, it helps to get out to more people. That way I can pay my bills, feed my family. And also, one thing I would like for y'all to do, if y'all can, go over to my music YouTube channel, twan.com. It's right here, T-W-A-N dot C-O-M. Um, help me run my numbers up on there. Also, um, I got music on Spotify. Add me to your playlist. Listen to me when you're working out because I make good motivational music, y'all. And also, if you can... If you don't have Spotify and you have Apple Music, I'm also over there as well. I'm also on TikTok. I'm also everywhere where you can stream music and pull up anywhere you can type my name and you can find me. If y'all could do that, I really would appreciate that. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. If y'all want to see me react to anything else, just let me know. Till next time I'm out, peace.